us. Pretty good, bud. Pretty good. <laughs> so we just sat here for five minutes trying to figure out how to start this. So that's how we're starting. Yeah. But uh, at least we figured out we're calling it Cult House Unboxed. You figured that out. <laughs> but I was okay with it. So we've been trying to figure, figure out a way to unbox toys on the internet and make money. Here we are. Ideally. Yeah. Ideally, yeah. So anyway, Roger has a bunch of Spider-Man toys. Marvel Legends by Hasbro. And we're going to open them up together. And uh, I'm a big Marvel fan, as you know. I know he is yeah. an insane Marvel guy. Not that that downplays me, though. I'm a pretty big fucking Marvel fan. I'm older than Yeah, me. you've spent tens of thousands of dollars on comics before. And the most I've spent on a single issue is probably like 300 So how does that rank me as far as a bigger... Am I a bigger Marvel fan? You know everything, though. Like, you yeah. know the stuff that no one cares about. I think that just makes you a Marvel money mark. Oh, we're going there. <laughs> Who has a cooler comic book collection, Roger? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway... I know a lot about Spider-Man. He is my favorite comic book character of all time. But I don't know all these things about some of these people. Like, who's that person? That's Mary Jane. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is. Not a Spider-Man. No, it is. Okay, well, Roger's going to tell me all about that while we open these up. <laughs> Which one are you going to start with? Tell me all about how Mary Jane is in Spider-Man. <laughs> Last I checked, she is just his wonderful girlfriend that puts up with all this dumb bullshit. Yeah, so when they did Secret Wars 2015, Uh uh, where they ended up destroying a bunch of the uh, multiverses and merging a bunch of them together, which was how Miles ended up in the uh, main universe, for example, they had basically a bunch of miniseries that were part of Battle World, which was just kind of like... Battle Wars was like a Secret Wars, like basically the, the whole planet, right? Yeah. Okay. And so in Secret Wars 2015, it was a patchwork of all these different multiverses. And so there's a multiverse where Peter and Mary Jane were married and they had a daughter. And uh, through some kind of... Chicanery. Like, ordeal, yeah, through some ordeal, <laughs> so their daughter had powers uh, naturally because she was the daughter of Spider-Man. Right. So the radioactive like spider powers or whatever were just passed on to her. That's comic book logic. But Mary Jane, yeah. <laughs> Mary Jane in that universe, uh, had a fashion boutique thing going on. Also, and then there was book. a villain in that like universe called the regent. And he was kidnapping all of the superheroes and sapping their powers, and he was able to use them for himself. I see. And so there's some kind of thing where, like, Mary Jane uh, gets spider powers. It was popular enough as a miniseries uh, during Secret Wars 2015 that they spun it off uh, for a little bit. So, yeah. As, Let's take a look um, at this packaging yeah. while you're telling about this. This is who we're talking about. Marvel Spinneret. And if you bring up Secret Wars 2015, it's kind of funny because, as you know, I'm a big fan of the Marvel Retro series. Yeah. Which fit in very well with the original Secret Wars by Mattel Toys. Which well, they have had. a lot of those. I have the whole set yeah. loose, and I've been trying to find it all mint on card now. I have Doctor Doom and a Red Blue Spider Man and Kang and Captain America. So I'm getting there. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, so those fit really well, the new retro series. Maybe I'll bring some of those over. We can open them up finally. Yeah. Uh, I love that, actually. Uh, they've been sitting there. I kind of don't want to get rid of them out, out of the box because they're all carded and look awesome. But it's fun to uh, sit here and look at some of these Marvel Legends that I probably ain't, I'm not going to buy because I'm very particular with my Legends. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you feel about this new packaging? That I hate it. Um, <laughs> I understand that I would don't want them to take away my plastic action men. Yeah. It'd be awful. You know, so if we had to lose some plastic, you know, um, I'm glad that we're not losing the toy. Yeah. Right. Obviously, but now what I'm waiting for to happen. So he has a few others. I want to roll ruin any surprises yet. But um, the one thing that you gotta be careful with, I'm wondering if we'll wind up running into here, is a either bad paint applications. Yeah. Right. Because that's something that obviously with any. You know, carded, spoiler, we're getting there. Uh, figure with like a bubble, you can see. Matter of fact, uh, I was just at Target on the way over here and I almost bought another Macho Man Ultimate. And I didn't. Uh, they're buy one, get the 50% off. And yeah. I was just to buy one and probably get something else just to come on over and open them up. Fuck it, man. But the Macho Man had black splotches on his tongue. Real bad pain ass. It happens all the time. It happens yeah. in WWE, it happens 
uh, into Marvel Legends, I've seen them, you know. Yeah, we've so, all seen, like, the janky eyes, too. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen, actually, some Mattel WWE toys have their eyes on their forehead, you know? Like, they're just, like, obviously the pad printing didn't catch it correctly. So I'm, I'm waiting for that to be an issue with all these, uh, as well as figure swapping. Yeah. Right? Because now you can't, you know, I mean, I've seen, that's a big thing in, in WWE. I don't know how much it goes on with Marvel Legends. Yeah. But I think that that's going to be an issue. So here we go. She's pretty rad looking. Yeah, it's a great costume design. Like I, um, it's not gonna work. I gotta do this. There's always the little things in design on these things that matter, where you don't think about them that much, but they just kind of add to it, like the little flares at the. Uh, oh yeah, on her yeah. feet. This thing looks awesome. I don't know, like, so this is exactly it. You know, like uh, Marvel does a great job putting out. So many, you got the extra heads and extra hands galore, if you will. Uh, these are the thing that Marvel is great, man. They go there and they go deep, which is something I always get bummed about, especially with WWE. You really doesn't that, that often. Yeah. You're still you know, like, waiting for that Ultimate Mantar. I am. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I recently had gotten the Dino Bravo figure, the first one. Yeah. And it's, a, it's like the retro Hasbro ones back in the day. That is like my be all end all action figure. I wanted Dino Bravo, but because he get gunned down for smuggling American cigarettes into Canada, they're not really hip to making a child's toy of him. But uh, the fact they released one for collector's market, that shit's great. Um, I think it's great that Marvel does this stuff. I also think that uh, I don't need this. Yeah, you know, and the fact a that lot like, of people bought this set just for the Spider Man. I too. bet. Now see this like, Spider Man. Look at the, uh, the toes. Oh, yeah. Do you see that, everybody? There's toe articulation, which is super rad. This reminds me of the um, uh, Toy Biz first uh, super articulated Spider-Man, yeah. which is also like built like a string bean. It was like barely an action figure, but it was yeah. awesome because you could pose them in many a different fashion. And when it comes to Spider-Man especially, you know, I mean, it's necessary. Well, it's also awesome kind pose. of like a... Um... It's very close to being like a Bagley, McFarlane, like 90s style Spider-Man. Right. Yeah, and that's the other thing too, right? Like, I missed out on the Ditko Spider-Man, which is the one I really want, and the Romita would be my second. Yeah. So I missed out on both of those, and that kind of is a bummer. We should try to get these up a little bit higher so we can see them. Maybe Roger will edit right now, and we'll go get something to put these on. Oh, yeah, point it more towards our crotch. <laughs> Great move. Oh, here, you know what? Boom. So that's where we started here. We got Spider-Man and... What is her name? Spinneret? Yeah. That's an awful name. Yeah. Pretty bad. We got some Spider-Man stuff in here. It's an yeah. unboxing video. This is our first one. So these will hopefully get better. Well, the thing with this new packaging, too, is that... This is all your extra seen, stuff yeah. is hidden in yeah. the, uh, the paper thing. Spider-Man hands. Peter Parker yeah. head. Mary Jane head for Spinneret. Pretty cool. I can dig it. It's a good set. And so far, no figure swap. Great job. Yeah. Well, these were all ordered uh, from Big Bad Toy Store. Shh. We gotta put it out there, man. Yeah. Okay. Should we move on? Well, not all of them were ordered from there. Well, we'll get there. Case yeah. by case. Let's not ruin yeah. the show. Right? We gotta get at least some intrigue. Should we go for the other big boy? Yeah. Check this out. We got Venom and Null, who I'm gonna find out all about who Null is, because I have no idea. <laughs> Even though I have a bunch of the known black comics, I bought them. I'm so back on <laughs> comics, they've just been sitting there. Yeah. I just haven't gotten them yet because no one talks about them. Yeah, I mean, King and Black. King and black. I there's a like, uh, there's a whole, like, I think 20 to 30 issues of the Venom solo series leading up to that. that right, yeah. To it. And then there's a bunch of other series, right? Because I know I have like a Namor King and Black. That's on right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's like, every time that they do a big event miniseries, there's like a dozen tie-ins that go into of it. Of course, yeah. There's like some the prelude them. to the uh, uh, King and Black was one of them, right? Yeah, and yeah. then you like, you end up in scenarios where for people who are completionists, you buy like all of them uh, and then inevitably, like some of them turn out to be more filler than necessary, and some of them add to the overall plot more than others. But uh, of course, oh. what's that? That is the Necro Sword, which you remember from the Thor: Love and Thunder. The Necro Sword sounds kinky, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show off this box while you sit there and do that. She said. <laughs> this is not going to get monetized. So here you go. That's Marvel's Null and Venom. 
pretty cool set. Um, this Venom, I actually, he showed me this. He texted me a picture of his box. First of all, my, my insane <laughs> attention to detail. I didn't even realize that Venom has a bunch of wings. That's a whole, <laughs> thing. That's a whole thing we're going to get to. Um, but I also like that this Venom, he's like beefy. And that's how I like yeah. my Venom. I don't like him where he's like a thing size. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. But like when he's like oversized, like Daniel Bryan versus Batista, you know what I mean? Like, or Daniel Bryan versus I don't know anybody pretty much that's bigger than him. Yeah, you know the David and Goliath, Spider Man, the Venom scenario. I think it's good. And this is a pretty awesome scaled one. I really like it. I mean, I think that um, it makes sense for the size of Venom to vary situationally. One hundred percent. Yeah, because obviously he can grow. Right? But he should look monstrous compared to Spider Man. This is kind of the thing, right? Like, I don't think he needs to be super big yeah. to be monstrous or Spider-Man. Yeah. I think this is, a, a, this is also something that we can complain about all day, which is scale. Yeah. Right? And how some scales are the worst, some scales are the worst, right? But uh, I feel like Marvel Legends is just does a pretty great job overall, you know, yeah. comparatively to a lot of other things, you know? Um, this is one of those things, too, where... Um, I actually kind of want to show this off really quick, because I haven't okay. seen this yet. Yeah. And I feel like maybe other people, this is how they come nowadays. Which is actually kind of tight, especially if I'm thinking for, like, you know, pain apps, right? You're not going to get rubbed off. I think that's pretty cool. You know? Yeah. Here, I'll help. Who is this? This is Null, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they come in their own little weird baggies. Like paper, a wax paper-ish. It's pretty cool. This is an impressive action figure. He is huge. Yeah, so he's the god of the symbiotes, uh, and if you will. pretty much the, uh, like... Ooh. Creator of them. Uh, there's he's uh, a creator. <laughs> Perennial openers. <laughs> everyone now on Taurus Mer Merciful Fate. Yeah, we yeah, also like everyone. Merciful Fate was here the other day. I did not go because I don't know if you know about this, Roger. But I had the absolute worst concert going experience my entire life. If you don't know, I'm in a band called the Atlas Club. I've toured a ton. Like I'm talking like the last 15 years, I played about a billion shows. I know about shows. Yeah. I went and saw King Diamond right before the pandemic. It was the absolute, hands down, worst experience I've ever had a show in my entire life. You want to know why that is? I'm 5'7". My girlfriend is also 5'7". I think she's 5'6", but whatever. That's a, that's a whole other podcast. We were there at basically tit level for a bunch of fat old metal dudes trying to sing along to King Diamond. <laughs> do I need to explain any further There's, I had so many people offer to take me to Merciful Faith the other day in Gary, Indiana first of all if you don't know yeah. about that Google that shit that's not cool but the thought of listening to a bunch of people try to see a lot of King Diamond after the last time I couldn't even fathom knowing I love Merciful Faith King Diamond was my um, my like white whale band you know like I wanted to see him forever you know he's the king and there's like the old saying right you know like you grow up liking Iron Maiden, and then you grow up and you realize that Judas Priest is the fucking better band, but yeah. then you ascend to the fucking heavens of metal, and you realize that it's obviously King Diamond's the man. You know, he's the one of those three, right? But yeah, I skipped that. I'm not even sure how we got on King Diamond. Oh, yeah, he's in Creator. Yeah. Yeah, so everyone talked about him. <laughs> everyone talked about Creator the other day, and I was like, oh, are they the best opening band ever? Like, well, yeah, we got one in Smoke Dirt. Like, yeah, it's a good opener. <laughs> you know, one well, that you don't have to waste any time for. Uh, so yeah, that's no, that's the Necro Sword, if you will, questionably named from Thor, Love and Thunder. Yeah, so he's basically the god that was killed at the beginning of Thor, Love and Thunder. The gold dude? No, the uh, the guy that the gold dude killed. Oh, yeah, that's no. That's basically no. So like that's that's low key like the symbiotes being introduced into the Marvel universe, into oh. in Marvel Cinematic Universe. See that? Yeah. This is why we're doing this podcast thing. These wings are fucking huge. That's what she's... No, that doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Yeah, no, this is an impressive scale. Now, are you gonna... Are you gonna... Are you planning on displaying him with those things? Probably. Can we get, like, some sort of scale on this? Like, look at how much bigger that is. It's <laughs> insane. Like, this is, like... Uh, it, I'm sure there are some toy clicks out there like myself that are very uh, hip to what a detolf is. If you're not, they're very affordable, cheap uh, glass cases you get from Ikea. Uh, they're about 70 bucks. Four shelves. They're great. I believe they're 12 by 12 by 12. That's not about right. I think they're yeah. cute. There is no effing way this thing fits in that. Absolutely not. We've talked about also doing some of these in my house so I can show off my insane collection. Uh, we'll get there. 
But yeah. Roger has precedence right now because he has a giant stack of toys to our right that we're not even touching yet today. So <laughs> it's a pretty cool one, though. Good yeah. set. He uh, also comes with some extra heads. Are a little bit wonky. Yeah, I mean they have to be like loosened a little bit. Smiling if you don't want questionable tongue venom. Some hands. Yeah, see, yeah. this is what I thought was going to happen with stuff like this. There's no way to actually like when you see him. Like, look at that stance. That's a power stance by Venom. Do you think he can do that? That toy? Maybe, with the right stance. With the right, yeah. right stance. You put, like, the right little, like, foot thingy in there. There's no balance. Yeah, we'll yeah. see about that. I'll, we'll, we'll follow this up if this goes well. well. <laughs> can we do star wipes in between or something like that? Maybe. Like, super lucas <laughs> That'd be cool, right? You know, like, right now, yeah. star wipe next toy, right? Yeah, you can do it. Look. I, he I balances look at, well. He's he does. Balanced. He does. Yeah. I was questioning. Yeah. Why well, do I know if it would work, Roger? Jesus, why are you so mean? He's got wings. Him? They keep him alive. He had Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> and these are two-part wings. Oh, no, he had Red Null. Oh, right. Red Null gives you wings. <laughs> Star wipe. <laughs> Wait, let's do these guys. Because I think... Let's, yeah. Why don't we each open we'll save, one of these? We'll save these for yeah. last. Let's each open up one of these ones. Here, let me do this. Well, these I... So on these, I always slice along the bottom so I can just like... Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about these yeah. guys. I'm talking about these guys. Okay. Because these are two kind of like the same yeah. thing and they're not that exciting, I don't think. So. Oh. Yeah, start me off. All right, we're back. Star wipe and all. So we got Iron Spider. These are also the newer Marvel Legends without the, uh, with the windowless boxes, which I, I'm still not into. I feel like this design could be cooler. Yeah. I feel like they look pretty good on the big ones. But then again, like, I also think about, like, back in the day, like, you know, you used to get, like, vehicles or play sets. Yeah. And it wouldn't have the actual art. It would just have... And then occasionally you know, you'd open it and the sticker sheet would be missing. That never happened to me. It happened to me with the X-Men mansion. Oh, well, yeah. That was a whack-ass toy. Yeah. We're talk I'm talking, like, USS Flag G.I. Joe 80s. Stuff. Yeah. That shit was dope. You know what I mean? You know that, what was convenient about that, though? And, um... There was nothing convenient about the USS no, 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 Flag. No. Okay. Here's, the, here's the thing. When I was, like... Four, I think. Uh, I was like big into Ninja Turtles, and there was a couple of times that uh, when you were four, yeah, four or five. And what year was that, Roger? Eighty nine, ninety. Wait, I thought I'm older than you. I was born eighty six. Yeah, so it wasn't then. So it have been ninety. Yeah, that makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, ninety, ninety one. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, anyways, I had like the sewer playset and like all these vehicles and shit. And uh, I can remember at least one time uh, accidentally messing up the sticker sheet. Oh, all the time. And, oh, so I remember a few times uh, at Walmart, my dad would just kind of like low-key slide a new sticker sheet out. Of, and uh, that is yeah. why these are bad. Yeah. Because the guys like, your, your dad was proto that guy. You know what I mean? Like, awful. Scumbags. Yes. Uh, you know what's hilarious is that, like, so I was an only child and... For other reasons that we don't need to get into, I wasn't exactly Mr. Health as a kid, right? Like, I wasn't necessarily supposed to be around that long. So, I was I was not the only child. I was the only child because my brothers were 11, 13 years older than me. So, Mr. Health is a good name for a uh, one-man band. It's true. Yeah. Too bad one-man bands usually suck. And there's already uh, a band called Health. Yeah, but fuck them. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Iron Spider. Who do we got over here? Future Foundation Spider. Yeah, so this is like an alternate version of the Future Foundation suit, too. Oh, really? Uh, so, there's oh, a whole Anyway, theory. I was going to say, I had yeah. a bunch of X double vehicles. Oh, yeah. I would mess up the sticker sheets, and I would lose my mind. So, I'm like, I'm like fine, I'll go buy another $7 <laughs> Cobra ski thing, you know? It's like, so... Anyway, you yeah. were saying, explain this, because I don't know anything about this. Yeah, so there's a period from around uh, 20... 11 2012 where spider-man was a member of the fantastic four but they were going by the future foundation well now now uh, for the record there he's been a member of the fantastic four in several different ways over the years yeah but this was in a scenario where uh this is a good shiny storm for the yeah. other, another toy <laughs> uh there's a whole period of time where johnny storm is believed to be dead in the uh, negative zone after a whole storyline involving annihilus as is tradition he and, died uh, in negative zone <laughs> uh so they bring in Spider-Man to join the Future Foundation uh, because they don't want to call it the Fantastic Four anymore since Johnny's presumably dead. Right. Uh, there's not four Doom, of them, right? Doom was also a member of the Future Foundation. See, this is when things just start getting wacky. Yeah. This is like... The best thing about comics is also the worst thing. that You can just retcon anything, you know? Yeah. 
Well, they go back and forth on Doom's level of uh, ambivalence toward uh, Reed Richards. Yeah, of course, because he's a weirdo. Yeah. Uh, both of them, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he's also like the uh, the godfather or whatever of Reed's kids for some reason. <laughs> and also, like, there's like a lot of stuff. Like, you know, it's kind of funny. Everyone sits here and talks about, we've talked about this before, about how Reed is an asshole. Yeah. Right? And like everyone doesn't, like, I almost feel like people aren't talking about that when they're talking about casting the, the new Fantastic Four movie. Well, it's the same thing with Professor X. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. That the very first uh issue where they introduced the um the second line of, of the X Men, uh he's just kind of like, I've designed all of these costumes for you and they're exactly to your measurements. And it's like, okay, so you decided the Storm is a stripper. Yeah, Storm's <laughs> Storm's dressed like a stripper and Colossus is wearing booty shorts and a shirt and, that has and, no sides. Yeah, and thigh highs. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's kinda of fucking weird, you know? <laughs> Uh, so this is Iron Spider. It is chintzy as hell. This is like the, the, I would not buy this toy yeah. because of this. This is, these things feel like they're going to break at all points. Also, there's only three things. Oh no, he only has three things in the uh, comic version. Of yeah, that looks, yeah. just look at how that looks though. Like, I don't even know yeah. how you're supposed to really, I don't know. Not my favorite Spider-Man guy, kind of a loose head, which I've noticed some Marvel Legends do have, which is a bummer. Obviously, we're not playing with them though. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what you do in your free time. <laughs> but don't ask what I do in mine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. They're good for... It'd still be good for display, maybe. Actually, depending on how you set them up. But, yeah. yeah. That's him. I'm not a big fan of this one. I think this kind of looks like crap. I think this is kind of why they uh, also go back and forth on doing, like, a Doc Ock that actually has posable tentacles as opposed to the ones that are pre-posed. Yeah. It doesn't look as good, honestly. Yeah. You know, like, you think that you want that... But like at the end of the day, like this is what you wind up with. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and honestly, like you still were talking about, like not all these joints. Let me take this down here. Not all these joints bend. Only like two of them do. Yeah. I feel like this is like, and they're real chintzy plastic. This is one of the more disappointing Marvel Legends I think I've touched. Yeah. It, um, also, things that I would change about it. Let's see here. I mean, this uh, stealth, uh, or I'm sorry, Future Foundation Spider Man. He only comes with two hands and some lips. And that's all that comes with. There's no build the figures in these ones. Wait, there should be alternate uh, hands. I don't think so, dude. Oh, there should be a little baggie. Me? Yeah, I didn't find it. Oh. <laughs> I found it. But still, though, that seems a little whack. So there's, yeah. is there, there's not a... You know, the other no, thing there's is. no build a figure in that. Um, and then also, uh, I've got... Are these just standalones? Yeah, yeah, I've got them. Oh, okay. They did the same thing with the uh, Japanese Spider-Man and, uh, like, 60s uh, Web Underarms Spider-Man. Oh, okay. They're just just them, huh? Yeah, those are still on pre-order, though. We'll okay. get to those some other time. I'd really like to get that Japanese Spider-Man myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to grab one of those. Like... I wish that they would do a HasLab of Japanese Spider-Man's Robot Leo Pardon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, we're talking, like, Do it when real Spider-Verse comes movie. out. Yeah. yeah, no, do it when Spider-Verse comes out. He's going to be in that movie. As if you don't already know yourself that Hasbro does not do the best job of picking what their HasLabs are. Yeah. I mean, they have. Actually, I take that back. That is a ridiculous statement. In the because past, the Sentinel yeah, and the Galactus are incredible. Yeah. And I can't wait to open those up with you and fucking play with them. I mean, just play them. We're going to play with them. It's yeah. Really awesome. And that's awesome. They look insane. I cannot really wait to get into those. Uh, but yeah, who knows? They'll probably do something dumb. Yeah. The, Man, uh, it'll be Aunt May in all her forms. There's not I'd an Aunt May. I'd buy it. You need an Aunt May. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Aunt May was a herald of Galactus at one point. It's the golden oldie. That. Don't tell. Don't put that in there. <laughs> Starwipe. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, when the third Tobey Maguire Spider Man came out? Yeah, I saw it at midnight. Like no, an no, no. asshole. <laughs> Months before it came out, this was back when uh, IMDb was a lot less regulated. Uh huh. And people went on there and said it so that it said that Rosemary Harris was playing Aunt May slash Carnage. <laughs> Yo, would she have been better as Carnage than Woody Harrelson? Yes, bad move. Yeah, I was, I was thinking Topher Grace. I thought you meant Venom for a second. Yeah, that's the worst casting for Venom I've ever heard in my entire life. The guy looks like a football player. Yeah. Topher Grace in that '70s show? 
Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. It was a hard sell. They're bringing him back in that Madam Web like spinoff movie that they're doing though. Topher Grace. Yeah, they're oh, they're bringing back it. the Topher Grace Venom for that. Why? I. You could say why to like any of the Spider-Man spinoff movies that Sony does. Well, yeah, that's because like, they don't even there exist. Craig and the Hunters there's, movies. There's no; those don't exist. Yeah. They're not real movies. Yeah, I still haven't watched Morbius. I'm, oh, you know what? Don't talk to me about the one combo character that's Greek <laughs> that they actually fuck up. Okay, give me a get out of here. Star wipe. <laughs> I really hope you can. Oh no! Yeah, you're that. losing stuff already. Just one hand. I got this one. <laughs> what is that? It's way under there. <laughs> we have a whole set of it around here, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Here you go. I can't wait for Baghead Spider Man. I'm so excited for Baghead Spider Man. Yeah, those those stupid iron spider things are not fitting in that bag. Oh, these are going straight to the shelf. Oh, okay. Uh, good. After this, anyways. Um. Should we save him? No, let's do it. Yeah. Obviously, I think Rhino's like... That's going to be the last one. Right, yeah. yeah. We'll do these two together. Yeah. All right. All right. So, what are we moving on here? We are doing Bombastic Bagman, Spider-Man. Check this out. So, I actually saw this on the way over here at Target when I did not buy that Macho Man. I really wanted it. It's funny because I looked at this and the first thing I did was do this because I wanted to see if they had a face underneath it. And we are both very curious if the bag can come up. Let's find out. Happens so, in real life sometimes, too. Sure does. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, this is definitely a weird Spider-Man, uh, where he didn't have his costume once. I wish they would do these clamshell packages where you could just, like... I mean, it would be an issue where if it was just, like, you could pop it open. So, still. coming from this era, right? I mean, I had Marvel superheroes, they yeah. were called, I believe, by Toy Biz, on these exact cards... Yeah. I do like how people are going about this, or how I should say Hasbro is going about this, where they are like, obviously there's a couple of these Spider-Man ones here, same kind of deal. These cards are damn indestructible, uh, which does actually lead me to believe one thing that does kind of suck is that I believe it's going to kill a mint on card um, resale value, right? Yeah. Because like, how are you going to really damage one of these things? You know, like. Can't fucking damage that thing. There's yeah, no they, like, they double layered the. Uh, yeah, the, the card. yeah. So, also this is a security thing, which is actually kind of funny. Is that they're putting more plastic into these for security's sake. Yeah. But taking it away from the others, right? Yeah, because it's not like blister <coughs> glued to. Yo, this is like literally a piece of cardboard. This is actually so the actual card is like a folder. If you notice, it's all sealed on this side, and it folds over a piece of plastic that's in between them. With the blister on there, it's interesting. I'd say, really. because of the kick me sign, I'm sure Roger could tell us more about that. Yeah, just a second. Okay, here he is, and two alternate hands. Two alternate hands. The kick me sign goes on his back, it is most excellent. Check him out. He They're rules. Two open hands so that you can pose him so that he's saying, no, please don't kick me, like this sign says. Oh! <laughs> That's a good thing in there, Raj. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to... I, I will get my own. So yeah. you can do the honors on this one. We're going to see if the bag comes off. It does not. It doesn't? Nope. It's attached to him. Are you sure? Um, is it soft? No. Yeah, it is. It's pliable. Okay, so this reminds me very much of maybe you can. Oh yeah, look, look. The back of his head is like octagonal. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so that does not come off. Yeah. So this reminds me of, and you can probably pull up like a little insert photo here of. um, I want to say it was Coleco Toys Rambo figures. Came out when I was a kid. Yeah. Rambo was big in the eighties, and I'm a big fan of Rambo. Because of the 80s, mostly. Uh, and there was a, a character called Dr. Hyde. Okay? Yeah. And he had a big dome head that you put two batteries in the back, you lit it up, and you could see his face, right? But I had, as a child, lost the uh, back panel to where you put the battery in, and it, therefore it wouldn't light up anymore, you know? Like, it needed the back panel for it to light up. So I was dying to see what that head looked like, you know? <laughs> and you couldn't figure it out. You couldn't pull it off or anything. I still have my original one, which I started to saw open. 
<laughs> but you can't even tell. I didn't even get that far because I think I realized I was doing something stupid. But, so, but uh, yeah, it reminds me of that now. Yeah. Um, you can see Peter Parker's chin under there. Uh, I think the real issue here is the fact that the eyes, you know way you're going to be able to tell, but the eyes are a little bit off in that regard. You know? And he's wearing a bag on his head. Yeah, but you should be able to see through it. He's Spider-Man. Yeah. He's got to see through that shit. He's got you spider know? senses. Don't tell him if he's uh, about to run into something. That's a good point. Yeah. Let's put on one of these alternate don't kick me hands. So I guess the, the big thing here is just like why he is wearing a Fantastic Four jumpsuit and a bag on his head to begin with. Uh, yeah, please tell. Yeah, so basically in the uh, comics back in the 80s when he first had the Venom symbiote attached to him and realized that it was a sentient alien and not a... Weird, goopy suit? Yeah, not like mm-hmm. some kind of like mentally responsive costume that he got in Battle World during Secret Wars. Uh, he gets back and he has the black costume for like a year of uh, just amazing Spider-Man comics. Uh, and then... Yeah, he has it starting at 252, and then by issue 258, he realizes it's real, and he goes to Reed Richards and reads like, oh, this is an alien parasite. We should get this off of you. So, right. Uh, he goes, As I hope you can tell me. <laughs> right, yeah. So they, uh, they remove the costume from him, and they're holding it in a tank at the Baxter building, but Peter is now just kind of standing around in his underwear, because he has no... Uh, Suit. Yeah, yeah. Because so I mean, he the, winds up even yeah. footless with these. <laughs> he's got like the little foot things for jammies. <laughs> you know? And whoa, <laughs> you killed him. He's dead. Yeah. Well, next Star Wipe. <laughs> the Human Torch attaches a kick me sign to his back too, because that's just part of the joke. Ongoing. Yeah, it's the ongoing. Uh, you mean that the ribbing you're trying them. to tell me that Spider Man in a Fantastic Four with a bag on his head? <laughs> There's ribs going on. It's a joke. Yeah. Get out of here, Rob. Come on. Well, it's uh, it's the nature of their friendship. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a couple other Spider-Man. Uh, these cards. We got uh, the classic lizard. We got classic rhino. I think these are both dope. Um, the oh, they had the Ben Riley Spider-Man too. That's pretty cut. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've got the uh, older version of that where it came with the Carnage hands and the yeah, Carnage right. head from when they did Spider Carnage in the comics. Sp- Spider Armor MK One is so whack. Yeah, this is a toy that I had from this original line by Toy Biz back in the day, and I remember just buying it because it was the only one I didn't have, and then being like, "This is so stupid." That right? was the first Spider-Man toy that I ever bought. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, because uh... that one wound up way at the bottom of the thing. <laughs> you know, like well, they didn't have. I wanted the symbiote Spider-Man. Of course, uh, everyone back wants in the yeah. Today, back in the eighties, the Marvel Secret War, or Mattel Secret Wars line, the most sought after figure is obviously the Black Spider. Yeah, it's the best. My ongoing issue with that, though, is that everyone thinks it's just because he has the black costume on that he's the symbiote Spider-Man. Well, back in the 80s it was. No, no, no. He's the sim- it's the symbiote for like six issues of the comic, and then after that it's just a cloth costume. There's no symbiote involved. Whatever, Roger. Because right. he gets rid of the alien costume, and the black cat who he's dating at the time is like, the black costume looked better. I'm just going to make you a cloth one. No one cares, Roger. <laughs> Open this lizard up. <laughs> I think this is also, I actually really enjoyed this about these new figures, is how much, like, you know, this is a figure that back in the original line with Toy Biz would have been scaled not like this. Yeah. He would have been just as big as a lizard. And then, like, you know, like, this is something that as a kid I always wondered, you know, like, why did, why was my Spider-Man the same size as Rhino or something like that, you know? So yeah. the fact that they're going this far... To make this toy this large, this big of a car, that big of a bubble, I think it's really awesome. Um, you know who did a really good job with scaling back then? Not McFarland. No, Kenner. Yeah. Uh, with that Star Wars line, Chewbacca was always yeah. taller than the other characters. You're right. You're right. Leia yeah. was always the right height proportionally with like Han or Luke. Yeah, but every male character that was about the same. Mm. Yeah. Vader was a little bit taller than Luke. Yeah, we're talking about Vader. We're well, yeah. talking about like Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah. You're talking about the power of the force figures. Yeah. Okay. Not the original Kenner ones. You gotta get that. You gotta hey, differentiate, bro. Grand Moff Tarkin was a tall dude. And also Grand Moff Tarkin was not included in the original he, Kenner series. Yeah, well not in the original ones in the seventies. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Roger. What are you doing over there? Are you doing brain surgery? Yeah. You know it's open either this way, right? He does this for resale value. Like he doesn't not notice that he's No, I do it because open. I like 
preserving the card. Just cut that fucker off, man. I would ruin Roger's day if I just ripped this thing open. So I won't do that. I don't want to do that. I'm not need Roger. Here. You would be throwing away a decade of friendship that has involved me <laughs> stopping by your band's merch table on numerous occasions and dropping hundreds of dollars. That I never saw. Here, let me take this. You open up that guy. <laughs> ah, so here. This is pretty cool. Uh, kind of bummed it doesn't come with some Kirk Connor. No? Yeah, there's... um. I've seen a few people... Do custom Kurt Connor heads? Yeah, let's see. You have to do like the whole like on, neck right? too. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Now this is a comic book lizard. Am I wrong? Yeah, because I've got the build a figure that they did where it's like a more realistic looking. Take he on. didn't look like this in the cartoon though, right? Well, I guess he kind of no. did. Well, if you the alternate head looks a little bit more like cartoony, cartoony one. which is yeah. This is like you. first appearance head, and then the other one is more. Like, yeah, so I doesn't say these are kind of like two in one figures, right? Yeah. So you got the regular. This does look like the original Ditko lizard, but then you got you got tongue, you got some weird uh, vials and beakers and such. You got a tail. Oh, uh, the tail is vendible. There you go. Well, Kurt Connors is a biologist, so you've got a vial of blood and a vial of what appears to be urine. Just doing doctor tests. Right. Just like when I go to the doctor, which I haven't done in about 15 years. I'm fine, though. Yeah? Oh, yeah. How bad could it possibly be? <laughs> well, you never know that anything's wrong with you until you go. Usually. I feel great. <laughs> so do I... Are you going to display him with these beakers? Maybe. I think you can only have him holding one of them. <laughs> On true friend. Oh, hand, yeah, you're yeah, right. The other hand's just a fist. So are you a piss guy or a blood guy? <laughs> um, if I have to come into contact with either of them, assuming that there's no diseases involved, I'd say blood. Weird, because I don't think you're going to get a disease from piss. Yeah, it's sterile. To you. Yeah. Your own... Urine is sterile to you. This yeah. is a common misconception out there that if like anybody pisses in your mouth, it's sterile. It's not the case. Well, I never think of that. Well, you probably should if you're a piss guy. Star wipe. <laughs> star wipe. <laughs> you don't get the star wipe. That's my game. <laughs> so yeah, boom. He's holding Roger's piss jar now. His piss jug. <laughs> it's the way of the road, Rand. You know. Oh yeah, this thing's substantial. Hell yeah. Actually, tell you what, as much as I'm a marker I am for all Dick or Romita anything, I have to admit that I think the animated head has a little bit more flair to it. Oh, he's looking good. Look at that tongue. Yeah. Yeah, Roger. Oh. He's licking Roger's head right now. See, this is the kind of idiocy that I figured we'd get to sooner, honestly. Pretty rad, though. I, I'm digging this line. Uh, it's not something that I need to be a completist of, but I love living vicariously through you with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know that you're going to get them all, so now I definitely don't need them all, you know? Without you in my life, though, Roger, I'd probably buy a lot more toys. Specifically just to open them up and bitch about them, probably. Even though I haven't really found any here that are... That are that, oh, that suck. Oh, yeah. Tell. It's bendable. I think mean, that's pretty rad. Yeah, the last one, uh, the Build-A-Figure, had a much weirder tell. What was what was weird about it? It, it was, was just one uh, way. I'll be honest with you, as much of a bendy tail that is, doesn't yeah. really go very... It had anyways. three joints to it. I feel like the joint would be better. Maybe. Look at this massive man. That's a mountain of a figure right there, dude. It's huge. <laughs> wow. It's yeah. Easy. This is um. This is up there with the thing that they did. I actually like this better than the Rhino Builder figure that they did too, because that one just felt like it was a little bit smooth overall. Oh, like less detail in the actual skin. Yeah, and stuff? it was a little bit too um yeah, really cartoony looking, if you will. We're gonna try to do some better cameras next time, a little bit more angles. So just deal with us right now. The uh, Maiden Voyage. Pretty cool, though. Great sculpts. Do you go... Do you have a preference over... Do you, do you like displaying neutral heads or... For the rhino, heads? I kind of want the rhino to look angry. Of course. Yeah. And he'd be angry, too, if you were in this rhino suit, right? Yeah. This one, this is like the... I have to poop and I don't know how to get this suit open face. You know what I never noticed? Does he always have eyes on the side of his head? Yeah. You know, I've never noticed that in my... 30 some years of reading comics. I've never. This is the attention to detail that I don't have. And I don't Go back about. and look at the uh, the original 
Romita Rhino. You didn't want me to go back and watch Amazing Spider-Man 2 with the Paul Giamatti Rhino? <laughs> Why? Why did you do that to me? Earth. Why did they do half the things in those movies? <laughs> I Why like Andrew Garfield. So, I do too. I like, so the, the, the first Andrew Garfield movie is would be my favorite Spider-Man movie if they didn't shoehorn in uh, the weird, like, Peter's parents plot. Right. That made yeah so stupid. We don't need that. And then also... I never once the, uh, wondered what yeah. Peter Parker's mom or dad was. Yeah. Like... Well, they answered in the comics. They were spies and the Red Skull killed them. Yeah, well, but, uh, I don't, yeah. it doesn't even matter, yeah. man. It's a throwaway. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. The other thing, too, though, is that that first Andrew Garfield movie has that scene when he uh, first gets his powers where he's skateboarding to Coldplay. And that yeah. ruins the whole movie for me. 100%. Yeah. I don't actually, I can't disagree with that one bit. Yeah. My whole thing was I thought that Andrew Garfield was a little bit too cool to play high school Spider Man. Yeah. I think Tom Holland is by far Spider Man to me. Yeah. Because he's the first one they've got correct with the period. Tobey Maguire was still a nerd when we're talking about the Venom era. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he should have gotten cooler. Like, if anything, by Spider Man 3, that should have been Andrew Garfield. Right? Yeah. Because like, he's the hipper, cooler. But have you ever looked at Tobey Maguire and thought, this guy could be cool? No, that's what I'm yeah. saying, though. It's a, that's what I'm saying. He's not a guy that you look at and you're like, this is the kind of guy who'd make wisecracks in the face of death. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Where Andrew Garfield is, but he could be nerdy, but they didn't make him nerdy. Yeah. In the first one. You know, like he was already cool. Yeah. You know, so like now that's why I'm like, when people are saying, like, oh no, what if they recast Spider Man? It's like, I'm okay with that. Give me a cooler Spider Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, give me one that's been through some shit. He got snapped out of existence. It doesn't matter if Tom Holland comes back, in all honesty. You can kind of do that with Tom Holland. Though. You can. Like, have you seen the uh, Uncharted movie that he did? I did. And yeah. he was a lot cooler. Yeah. Right? He, yeah, you're right. He can be cool. Yeah. So that's what I'm hoping that we keep going with it personally. That's I honestly, it. like, I've been thinking about this because of where they're going with, like, Secret Wars and all of that. You yeah. could kind of, like, retool things and <laughs> pretend that, like, all the other movies didn't happen yet because I feel like it's kind of the direction they're going anyway. I mean, I have like, a feeling that we're yeah. going to see Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire back as Spider Man in Secret Wars. Yeah. I'm almost pretty that, guaranteed at this point. I think that Sony's probably also going to keep trying to do their own side stuff. Oh, them. I guarantee they're going to try. Yeah, they're not going to give up that that thing until <laughs> until the mouse buys Sony. Yeah, you know, which probably will happen eventually. I, in a perfect world, I think the the mouse would buy the live action movie rights for Spider Man and just say, "Hey, Sony, you can keep doing the animated." I, I wish they would just do yeah. that. We call it a day, you know. Yeah. I'm so over how it's gone because the animated stuff Sony did perfectly. Yeah, no, uh, actually, yeah. the live uh, action the Spider Verse yeah. is incredible. Yeah. They have not done a damn thing worth <laughs> shit in live action, <laughs> and I really wish that they could just make some sort of deal with it. Even if they got residuals from the live action for letting it go, yeah, just like just stop it. Yeah. You know, like you're not doing us any favors. The fact that Venom two, well, first of all, Venom one sucked. Obviously, people want to saw because people are Venom marks. Yeah, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, you know, like, I only like I went and saw the first Venom just so that I can say that I went to see the Venom movie. Sure, of course. Yeah. Well, also, like, is Venom cool without Spider Man? I disagree. See, the whole reason that Venom looks the way that it does is because it imitated Spider Man's costume. Right, that's what I'm saying, yeah. man. So, yeah. like, dude, you throw Venom out there, who gives a shit? Yeah, I don't care about Venom if he doesn't have Spider Man. Yeah, and Venom two is such so bad, and Morbius is even worse. Yeah, and they keep going. Well, it's the Sony universe of spider man list Spider-Man movies. Oh, yeah, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> well, anyway, that was our first unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Spider-Man themed. We're going to do another one shortly here because we're going to be in the same clothing, in case you guys are wondering. But Why can't they be make different. a Doc Ock with the tentacles like this? We haven't went over it. You don't want it, man. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. Yeah. The Scorpion uh, with the tail like this works, though. It's Whatever. a pain in the ass to pose sometimes. Yeah, that's what I'm works. saying. This yeah. thing's not going to be posable that much. It may, you may think it is. It's not going to, though. Yeah. Look at it. It does not pose that well. You just put it down. Yeah. You can just twist it around. You get the same effect. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Cold House Unboxed, huh? Yeah. That's fine. One down, about 3,000 to go. <laughs> subscribe, right? Yeah. Like, Press subscribe, like, share. Subscribe. What do you have to do the, the like button? Or is it subscribe button? You have to smash uh, it, right? Yes. Do something to it. Yeah.